State of the Union message, I emphasize the need to ensure America's competitive preeminence in the world, in the world economy, and I know it's a goal that we all share. In fact, I've been encouraged by my conversation with the leadership of both parties, and placed a high priority on a constructive approach to this problem, and I look forward to working with all of you. Last Thursday, I sent a message to the Congress outlining a comprehensive program to promote, promote competitiveness. Senator Dole and others introduced this package, and I understand that the various components of the bill will be introduced separately so that all of your committees will have an opportunity to consider those issues which fall in your jurisdiction. I know many of you have already been holding hearings on some of these issues, and I hope you'll take a careful look at the proposals. Before we begin our general discussion, I'm going to ask members of the cabinet here to review briefly the major components of the program, but when I'm eager to hear your, your thoughts. First, I'll ask Bill Brock to provide you with an overview of our program, and also to describe the specific provisions relating to worker training. Then Mac Baldridge will address the commerce-related issues. And finally, Clay Yider will describe our trade reform proposals. So, Bill? Thank you, Mr. President. Let me just uh, begin with a, a bit of <laughs> the one I want to see, though, is when you. Hi. How are you? Uh, 
Good to see you. I can't believe it. He laughed on the Jim Miller, how are you? Again. Yes, yes, sir. sir. General? Yes, That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we've said a lot already. Jim has all the money there. <laughs> and that's why we need to see Jim. I mean, Jim has all the money. Mm. He's very generous. Not as much as us. Mitch, you have to smile too. Over here. Okay. Great. Well, yeah, there. Thank you. Really good with kind of slow. Teacher's name? Miss Hardigan. Miss Hardigan? H-A-R-D-I-G-A-N. 
Miss? No, miss it. Is it D or T? It's a T. T. A T. Yeah. E. I'm starting to do it wrong. She'll, she'll give me only a C minus for <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> My handwriting was so bad in elementary school that they used to keep me in from recess to practice my writing. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't help. <laughs> Megan's been practicing. There. Well, well listen, thank you for everything. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, it's a wonderful privilege. And if it weren't for all these folks, uh, these little ones, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be even what I've done. Thank you. Is Indiana ready for you? Mitch? Is Indiana ready for you? Oh, I, they think they are. Oh, yeah. Well, Mitch, you're going to have to sit right there. You're Okay. No, not that way, Lizzie. This way. Thank you. Thanks, Indiana. <laughs> we are so accustomed to that. Get in the middle here for a picture. Thank you. Well, well, listen. It's good of you to come. Good to see you. And I, I know that the numbers have been changing there in the Senate. But yes, I don't think we're really going to do the job until we get reapportionment. Well, Mr. President, that's our goal, to have those numbers, though, in fact, even under these lines, uh, yeah. we are now uh, at uh, six, we'll have 16 Republicans as of March 17th. Uh, we have an independent, the first ever in the Senate, uh, who will vote for, for me, pro tem. Uh, we have two Democrats, one of whom will re-register, and one who will vote our way, Senator Boatwright, and uh, we're hoping that one may get an ambassadorship, which would give us our 20th. We still <laughs> need one more, but we're, we're moving right along. Well, that's great. And that's before reapportionment. So, and of course, I know you go back a long way to support of me, and I'm most grateful. Well, you, you came all the way into Sonoma County <laughs> in 78 when I was uh, absolutely a non-entity and gave me instant credibility and, uh, and a fundraiser in Oakmont. And, uh, and, uh, we have a couple of souvenirs here just for you for your visit here. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes. That's wonderful. We appreciate the time so much. Well, you've got a visitor's badge on. You're not the... She's with Mitch's office. What? I work for Mitch Daniels. Mitch's office. Oh. <laughs> I, saw the, I saw that night. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be so kind as to just sign your name on two things for my two of my staff people, Mr. President? Very happy. They are great fans of yours and would be so honored if you would. Just over here someplace? Anywhere. Just, just my name? Just so. Oh, my goodness. Your <laughs> name is all anyone would ever need, Mr. President. Yes. What a wonderful pen. So delightful. That action. I want you to know, Mr. President, there's a lot of support for you in the hinterland, a lot of prayers, and a lot of enthusiastic people, obviously, in your state that believe in what you're doing. position in the Senate, we're going to do even more. We'll give George Duke Mason that majority that you enjoyed for a while there. Good man. That'd be You're really doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. President, we thank you so very much for this opportunity. Good to see you. Great. Our prayers are with you. Thank you.